How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Turn down for Walt here, and welcome to the JV5, the home for Melee's craziest and most exciting moments of your favorite events. The conquest for the top of the MPGR rankings has really been starting to heat up as of late, with a small handful of rival players emerging from 11 months of competition to form a near four-way tie for the right to be called the world's greatest Melee player. This four-sided rivalry came to an action-packed head at Smash Summit 14, with a few other top-tier players joining in on the fray to proclaim their own places on the world stage. But in the end, there could be only one Smash Summit 14 winner, and in this week's JV5, we're gonna find out who emerged from the chaos to ascend the peak of the melee hierarchy. Game one, Bobby Big Balls versus none in a stop trade to get things going off. Single hit is also, so needs maybe to grab, that's the roll in. Two needs, gets reversed, not played, there's the third one, that could be it! It goes without saying that Canada has easily produced some of the most noteworthy players in Melee history, and after his impeccable run at the Big House 10, Sunsei is unquestionably the Great White North's next surging household name. Although his placements at Majors in 2022, both at home and abroad, have been sporadic in terms of consistency, with wins over top players such as S2J and Leffen, Sunsei has made it abundantly clear that he is a threat to anyone he plays, top 10 or otherwise. At Smash Summit 14, Sunsei put on two incredible performances in pools, earning two dominant 3-1 set wins over Kadoran and Leffen. This streak of success would falter, though, in his final set of pools when he crossed controllers with the number one Eagles fan, Mango, who sent the young Canadian prospect packing to the gauntlet stage 3-1. Waiting for Sunsei in the gauntlet was fellow top up-and-coming Fox main Pipsqueak, making their set here a runback from their clash at the Big House 10 almost a month ago, where Sunsei won 3-1. Their set here at Smash Summit 14 would go even more in Sunsei's way, with him outshining the Stockholm native 3-0. Because of his victory over Pipsqueak, Sunsei was awarded a winner's quarter spot in the final bracket on Sunday. At a Smash Summit, this was not an easy feat to accomplish. Though, this accomplishment turned out to be short-lived, as Sunsei had the monumental misfortune to have to play one of the most revered Fox Slayers in Melee history right off the bat, Zane, who rendered Sunsei into the loser's bracket with a devastating 3-0 loss. In losers, Sunsei's luck wouldn't fare any better, as he ended up being bopped from the tournament at 9th place after being overcome by Jmook 3 1. This jump so called sweet. out. Oh, oh no! Jmook is not missing. That last He's one not was, missing. Yeah. Bro, that was three slaps in, in center stage as well, yeah. right? The first one, and then just dead off that? That's crazy. With top two finishes this year at major tournaments like Genesis 8, Gommel 2022, and Shine 2022, as well as compiling a lengthy laundry list of wins over pretty much the who's who of Melee's upper echelon, it's hard to argue that Jmook is the biggest breakout star of 2022. However, despite these accomplishments, there's still one thing that's keeping him from crossing that threshold towards truly cementing his place as one of Melee's best, a first place victory at a major. He's come close to hoisting the trophy high above his head on several occasions, but his first major title has continued to elude him all year. Going into Smash Summit 14, Jmook was no longer the unproven dark horse that he was at his last Summit outing. Now, he's a tried and battle-tested veteran of eight major top eights. After coming up short at Smash Summit 13, perhaps 14 would be Jmook's lucky number. Kicking off the weekend of intense competition, Jmook went nearly unopposed in pools, taking set wins over Ralph and Pipsqueak, with his only loss coming at the hands of Hungrybox in a close 3-2 set. After this loss to Hbox, Jmook would be thrusted into the gauntlet stage of the tournament to take on the AZ standout Axe for a chance to compete in winner's quarters of the final bracket on Sunday. Beating Axe in their two recent meetings at Shine 2022 and the offseason, Jmook was viewed as a heavy favorite to take the set over Axe, but Axe, completely flipping the script, ended up trouncing Jmook in a shocking 3-1 upset. Falling to Axe in the gauntlet stage left Jmook seated into the loser's bracket on Championship Sunday, with a murder's row of top MPGR talent standing in the way of his coveted first place major title. However, this wasn't new territory for Jmook. At Shine 2022, he won five sets in a row to make it into Grand Finals after being, coincidentally, defeated by Axe as well. That loser's resolve would blossom again here at Smash Summit 14 too, with Jmook embarking on a three-set win streak in losers, nabbing wins over J Flex, Sunsei, and Leffen, before being cut from the tournament at fifth place by Hungrybox in another hotly contested Game 5 set that literally came down to move staling. Yo! Oh! Yo! I love the idea, I love the vision. Oh! He's gonna F Yo! Oh! Watch out for the F smash! Yo, he de I, that kind of crazy! Oh, oh my god, H Fox takes dude. it! Holy Damn. shit, what a set. J Mook out at Oh fifth. man. No pop off from Hungry Box, just hey. relief. Just relief. 
When the newly minted pride of Canadian Melee, AMSA, claimed the crown at the Big House 10, he seemingly ushered in a new era for the game. An era where character choice doesn't matter at all. As long as you have the dedication and the will to win, you can accomplish just about anything you want to. For most characters. And while he wasn't able to replicate that same Cinderella story at the Ludwig Smash Invitational, placing 7th at the event, AMSA was still widely viewed by the community as one of the tournament favorites at Smash Summit 14. During the pool phase of the tournament, the community appeared to be proven utterly right when AMSA completely swept his pool with hardly any issue. He only dropped one game to fellow fan favorite player Axe while stomping his way past reputable international Fox talent in IBDW and Professor Pro 3-0. Landing in winner's quarters off the back of his stellar run in pools, AMSA's first opponent of Championship Sunday was none other than the Godslayer himself, Leffen. Prior to squaring off at Smash Summit 14, the pair had previously clashed at both Pound 2022 and Battle of BC4, with the score being tied dead even at 1-1. One one. But in another flawless performance, AMSA claimed the set lead over the Swede with a perfect 3-0 finish. Up next for AMSA in winner semis was the ubiquitously recognized best player on the face of the earth, Zane. After having won the Ludwig Smash Invitational two weeks before Smash Summit 14, where he only dropped two sets the entire three days of competition, Zane also appeared to be one of the top picks to take the event. Unfortunately for Zane, his winner's bracket aspirations were definitively laid to rest after a sound 3-1 thrashing from AMSA. In winner's finals, AMSA had to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against a familiar foe, the greatest dual space he made of all time, Mango. As if fated to occur due to the intervention of the melee gods themselves, Amsa and Mango finally faced off in a highly anticipated rematch from their legendary grand final set at the Big House 10. However, unlike that set where Amsa got the upper hand on Mango 3-2, the kid exacted his revenge on his Canadian foe, sending Amsa careening into losers finals 3-1. Eager for another shot at Mango, Amsa came to blows against IBDW in losers finals, a player, if you recall, he had beaten before in pools 3-0. Although, unlike that set, IBDW would also get his vengeance on AMSA, eking out a close 3-2 set over the Yoshi main and eliminating him at third place. Yeah. <laughs> this would be a crazy-ass comeback, though. He's oh, you don't really see two more of those. Oh, this might be one of the greatest comebacks, bro. Yeah, he's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to get all the way into his bag, like you said. Real yeah. homies. I don't know yeah. That's no. gonna do it. Cody, Cody takes Cody. it. Back in grand finals. He the, said uh, back in grand finals the, the, on the weekend, yeah, like, like usual. usual. The champ at it again. He's, he is the champion of this yeah. event. The champ is here. Bro, 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 bro. The champ is here. It's time to losers, but you know. He is the two time. Nothing. Yep. When it comes to who has the greatest claim to being called the best melee player in 2022, very few stand out from the pack more than IBDW. From May to July alone, the New York-based Fox main placed first at major tournaments around the globe, like Smash Summit 13, Double Down, and Phantom. However, he hasn't been able to replicate that same level of domination at subsequent majors in the last half of the year so far. But with the incentive to become the first player to win more than three Summit tournaments in a row since Armada seemingly guiding him forward, IBDW was easily a top pick to take home the gold at Smash Summit 14. The returning Summit champions started out mostly strong in pools, with IBDW taking out both Axe and Professor Pro. He would, though, suffer a crucial setback against AMSA, missing out on the chance to qualify for the final bracket on day one, with him now being forced to compete in the gauntlet phase of the bracket. Jumping headfirst into the gauntlet, IBDW collided with resurgent top captain Falcon main Wizrobe, who he swiftly defeated 3-1 to advance to winner's quarters. After a quick dispatch of one of the greatest captain Falcon mains in the world, IBDW looked to be right back on track towards possibly a sizable winner's bracket run. Alas for Cody, that winner's run would end well before it even had a chance to pick up steam, with him being down smashed out of winner's quarters by Mango, 3-1. The loss didn't seem to phase IBDW much though, as he wound up going on a phenomenal loser's run. A run in which he won five sets in a row over some of the world's elite in Plup, Axe, Zane in a reverse 3-0, Hungrybox in a reverse 3-0, and Amsa on his way to grand finals. Make this up air a threat. But Juan's looking for that pound here. I think up air's a threat now. <laughs> oh! From not being able to make top 8 at any major tournaments he entered for the first 7 months of 2022, as well as being ranked outside the top 10 for the first time in the official rankings, to placing first at Super Smash Con 2022 and Lost Tech City and somehow consolidating a strong enough case for being considered the number 1 player in Melee right now, after only a couple months, Mango has had one of the most chaotic years in his entire career. 
Coming up short at 7th place in his last major outing, the Ludwig Smash Invitational, Mango came into Smash Summit 14 playing like a man possessed, as he effortlessly cruised into the final bracket after clearing his pool, collecting wins over Sunsei, Kadoran, and Leffen. Even the final bracket turned out to be nearly a cakewalk for Mango as well, with him making it to grand finals after nonchalantly blazing his way through fellow top 10 contemporaries IBDW, Hungrybox, and AMSA. In the final set of the tournament, Mango had to once more cross shines with IBDW, who himself was coming off a titanic loser's run over some of the best of the best Melee had to offer. Despite IBDW entering Grand Finals with an immense wave of momentum behind him after going on an impressive 5-set win streak, Mango would totally annihilate the reigning Summit Champion in a 3-0 blowout, emphatically pushing him off his throne to become the new Undisputed Summit Champion. Okay. Dude, Eddie Bear. Oh. Eddie Bear, oh, that that's man. it. That's it. All right. Mango takes your turn again. Hey, Mango. The Cloud9 fans are going ham in the background. Yeah. They hug it out. Mango. 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 You guys hear the chants. You know what you said to me? That's something wrong. And Mango, he won the title back. You know, these two have won the last four summits. That's oh, true. Okay, here yeah. we go. I'm turned down for Walt, and this has been the JV5. Drop your favorite Smash Summit 14 moments in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the Melee action. Thank you to our top tier patrons and YouTube members, Avishua Stein, Dorian, Storm, and Wackdot for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed watching another awesome summit, you will love the storylines from the most stacked invitational of 2022, so click on this video and see you there.